What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub. So as you can tell, I'm back on the Street Fighter YZF750R and it's been a long time. It's also a long time no see to you guys. Hope you're doing, doing well, fine and dandy. But uh, yeah, this bike has been off the road since January. So what happened was, I don't know, it's one of those stories. What happened was, it all started off with, it all started off with me deciding one day I wanted to give my forks a bit of a, a bit of a polish because there was some surface rust coming up on the chrome. So I took the forks out, started cleaning them up. Yeah, nice and happy. Then I sat down, opened a cold beer, looked at the rest of the bike, thought, you know, that's a bit, that's a bit manky, that's a bit filthy. I don't like that. I, I wouldn't mind painting that. I wouldn't mind cleaning that. So <laughs> fast forward a week, the entire bike was in part in bits on the floor in my garage right down to the engine out of the frame the swing arm off the yokes off bloody hell and yeah oh bloody hell i'm not going through the middle of that so basically i rebuilt oh no he's going to come and splash me isn't he god <laughs> so yeah um it ended up with the bike being completely apart and i've done so much to it that I've kind of lost track of what I've done, but briefly I've done every single bearing on the bike, uh, new master cylinders for the brake and the clutch, I've rebuilt my calipers, rebuilt my clutch slave cylinder, I've uh, messed about with the suspension linkage so I've raised the bike up a bit, dropped the forks through, a oh, yeah, new top yoke, new handlebar, uh, new LED headlights, redone the entire wiring loom, so much stuff that I've done. And I thought I'd show you because I'm not 100% um, happy with it. It's not finished yet. It's still not finished as such. It's a bit of an ongoing project. But um, yeah, basically it's there. Uh, the only thing that's stopping me really from having fun on the bike is uh, the clutch is slipping. And the other thing is the brakes. Uh, these six pop Sumitomo calipers, uh, they're notoriously bad to bleed, really hard to bleed. So I ended up actually uh, putting a massive gouge in my brake pads because I was getting frustrated and I was trying to push the pads, uh, push the pistons back in and I put a gouge in the pads. So I need new pads, I need a new clutch set and really I just need new tyres. So the tyres that are on here, they're, they're like brand new but they're about 10 years old and I just, they just, they scare me. I've come around a couple of corners today and you can just feel them sliding even though I'm only giving it a tiny bit of gas. So yeah they have to go but what is good about that is uh, i've kind of filmed a lot of the uh progress on the bike the things that i've been doing like i filmed everything like bleeding the brakes of uh fitting the fitting the chain fitting the sprockets i've like filmed everything on, on a, my cousin's nice camera and so I've, I've kind of made it into a little short film like maybe three minutes long but the final part of the film is going to be me doing a massive burnout and popping the rear tire but until i get my clutch fixed i can't do that but anyway that little short film will be coming soon but in the meantime let's go back home stick the bike up on a paddock stand and i'll show you exactly what i've been up to for the past three months all right guys so this is how the bike sits at the moment it's 99 percent done but there's a few things that i'm still thinking about like paint and changing the rear seat to a different seat unit bar ends mirrors stuff like that still in consideration but in general i've done a lot of work on the bike so i have rebuilt the calipers and had them cerakoted in black to match the new top yoke and the uh, bottom yoke, I've changed the brake master cylinder to an R1M, clutch to a H2 SX clutch master cylinder, replaced all the black hose with clear hose and clear reservoirs, the bolts I've changed whatever I could to titanium, LED headlights, replaced all of the wiring loom with a homemade loom, cleaned up all the graphics and stuff off the carbon, the sprockets I went for a 15 front 45 rear with a 520 chain, uh, brushed all the aluminium on the swing arm to make it look a bit nicer. Removed the reservoir off the rear and just put a clear hose. Exhaust side of things, just gave it a bit of a clean up and replaced some of the bolts with um, lightweight aluminium bolts instead of steel. Genuine Akropovich, of course. Um, on the rear suspension, I changed the dog link to make the bike 35mm higher at the back, and that's pretty much it. 
So if you like my Street Fighters hoodie, it's available in the store. Go and get yourself one and I'll see you guys in the next video.